Hey Sagittarius, welcome to Sagittarius Sun at the Crown Fits. I'm sorry y'all, I'm supposed to do these every day, but let's see spirit. What energy is coming in? Ooh. All right, so this rolled out. It's coming on for my Sagittarius Collective. So we have the Y card. We have flexible. Okay, let's get one more spirit for Sagittarius. All right, so we have the Yang and then Serendipity. This is y'all energy. So, if you guys are dealing with the masculine or this is the masculine side of you, I feel like some of you guys are taking action on something. Uh, something that you found out. It's causing you to have to be flexible here. Because, you know, you can't control how... Uh, what people say and what they do, but you can... Five, five, five on the phone. Yep. This is going to cause some change here. Hold on, y'all. I'm going to close my own door. You can't control what people do and what they say. You can only control how you respond. Okay? So something here is... It's really going to take you towards serendipity, but you are going to have to be flexible here. I need you to know that spirit lives within you, and this is a, a time that you need not forget that. Okay? So, let's look at what this is for my Sagittarius collecting. Yeah, see. Could be some type of communication coming out with the Knight of Swords. Whatever this communication is, is going to cause you to move on. Hmm. What is this here? Judgments here. I do feel like you're going to be making some judgments on some people in your life. Or at least this particular person. Okay? What's going on? For my Sagittarius Collective. What is this spirit? Yeah, something's about to get revealed. With the sun card, some of you guys can be dealing with a Leo or with an air sign or another Sagittarius. Four of Wands. Something that was going on in either a relationship or something about stability here. Yeah, Queen of Swords. Somebody's coming in with some Knight of Pentacles. Oh, wow. Okay. This could even be for a masculine. I don't know, y'all. Just take it how it resonates. Somebody's about to reveal something about this child. And this is not a young child. Okay. This child could be preteen with the Knight of Pentacles here. Could be an Earth sign child. Someone's going to be telling you something. I feel like someone could be trying to hurt you when they say this. It could come out during an argument. But this is definitely going to free you. It's going to hurt. Okay. Um, you need to remain grounded. You need to stay calm. Because this is setting you on your right path. This needed to come out. You might have even been concerned about some things. But, um... I feel like spirit could have been trying to give you this information and maybe you <sighs> ignored it. Because let me tell you, you see how this horse is looking back at this baby? There's something about this baby here. So the truth about the child is about to be revealed. Let's grab some kippers. Mm -hmm. Uh-oh. What's going on here for adjudication? You could be married with the four of wands. This might cause a divorce. Somebody was not being faithful. I told you you was in concern about it. You've already been in concern about this. Wow. Yep. It's, I told you it's going to cause some change here. Because, wow. And, you know, for some of you, this person could be pregnant again. But what I'm about to say right here is whew, someone could be pregnant by someone in your community. This is normally like the family. So this could be friends, family, something like that. Um, this child could belong to someone in, in your community, somebody that you know, somebody that was close to you. Could be someone that you grew up with. 
and this person could even be pregnant again like something like that is going on it might have you all in your head you know you could have felt like somebody was trying to because i feel like you've been raising this child Mm, mm, mm. What else, spirit? Mature woman. Mature woman, wealthy man. And then pathway, toil and labor. Yeah, see, I do. I feel like you're, you know, you were married. But with courthouse adjudication here, once this information come out, mm-mm. Yeah, information about a child. Look at you. I already think I told you you ain't concerned about this child. Thoughts and child. You ain't concerned about child could be nine. Somebody could be sixteen. Somebody could be eighteen. I don't know. But see, there go your spouse right there. Because the privileged lady is the match to the wealthy man. But whoever this mature woman is, I feel like they knew about this. Look at this shit. False ass person right next to thief. Unexpected income, bad health, Whew. immature man, coughing, and imprisonment. What the fuck? What's that spirit message? So, someone could also be giving you a message while they on a deathbed? All I know is somebody is pregnant by someone in the community. This is normally friends and family. And, and someone's married, okay? Privileged lady, wealthy man. What else, here? Yeah, the secret here. I can't make it up. This, ooh, child. Secrets in this marriage. This is the secrets card. There's secrets in this marriage. Now. Okay. We got high honor here. I feel like you may have put, you know, this, uh, your spouse or whoever, you know, you put somebody on a pedestal. Yeah, I feel like somebody here is sick, man. Pathway, toil and labor and journey. Someone could <clears throat> someone could be about to have like a miscarriage or something. There's something going on here. This communication coming through is going to be challenging as fuck. Because like I'm telling you, this child belongs to someone in the community. Period, Sagittarius. Now I don't say I don't know if you are the privileged lady, if you are the husband, or hell, I don't know. I don't know what this is. Okay, yeah, I have to take where it resonates. Yeah, so page of ones with the three of ones. Now this could be somebody could be waiting on the paternity of a child. I said. Okay, somebody gonna be stunned because the baby is like kin to somebody. Somebody about to be stunned here. <sighs> My God. I hope there's no physical altercation break out because this is this is definitely some challenging information. Ten of Pentacles. That could be family too. Judgment. Three of Pentacles with the Ace of Cups. Ace of Cups. Could, this person could be pregnant right now. But they're not pregnant by you. By somebody in, in your family with the Three of Pentacles. My God. Look. Five of Wands. Please do not fight. That's why Spirit said you got to remain grounded. Alright, because this secret is coming the fuck out. It's coming out. Poor thing. 
Seven of Wands. Mm -mm -mm. Yep, Knight of Wands. I don't know if something happened when, listen, I'm telling you, Three of Cups right now. Shit. Yeah, damn. Three of Cups with the community. Three of Pentacles. Three of Cups. Challenging ass communication is about to come out right here. Whatever was hidden, y'all could be dealing with a Pisces. Whatever was hidden is coming out. It's going to cause major change, okay? Mm -hmm. Nine of Wands with the Page of Cups. What's this page of Cups? Nine of Wands is trials and tribulations, but... Yep, I'm telling you, I'm telling you, I'm telling you, Queen of Wands, Queen of Cups, King of Swords, King of Cups, what the fuck? Somebody's like a damn shapeshift. This person's stressing too. So who is telling you this information? The person that's sick. See, whoever this is, they getting ready to go on to glory. Bad health pathway. Somebody getting ready to go on to glory. I don't know who that is. It's somebody in your family. Could be an older gentleman. Six of swords again. All of this is happening for your highest good. Because you needed to know this was some toxic shit going on. Okay. Ace of Pentacles, Queen of Wands, Queen of Cups, King of Swords. I don't know who these three people are, but they all wanted something from you. Yeah. See, justice is coming in. I feel like you need to be going towards whoever this divine feminine is. And it's almost like somebody could have... Okay. That's why I saw the King, Queen of Swords. So, I feel like with that Divine Feminine, right, with that Knight of Cups next to it, you may have, I feel like I'm reading for a masculine. This is a masculine energy. You may have met that Divine Feminine as you were filing for a divorce. Once somebody saw that you had moved on, somebody came and told you that they was pregnant. Your spouse came and told you that they were pregnant. I feel like you walked away from the divine feminine or moved away from the divine feminine and tried to work it out because of a pregnancy. This could be what the three of pentacles is. Working it out because someone's pregnant, right? They were pregnant, but it is not yours. And so this baby could be three, because I see three, three, three or four, something like that, right? And maybe you uh has you've been having concern about this child. Somebody knows the truth about it. And I feel like this it's going to come in from someone who's sick. See, somebody didn't, somebody wanted to keep you stuck because they didn't want to be without. Like, it's giving codependent energy. Maybe you have a ten of pentacles. But when I tell you this is somebody who's pregnant by someone in your community, a friend, or a family member... And it's like they did it to keep you. It's, they did it to keep you from your divine path. Um, Cause with the sun and the moon out here, this is there's some twin flames. We already saw the empress. That TV just got loud as hell. <laughs> um, they did this to keep you away from somebody. I told you, look, somebody was pregnant, but somebody was dealing with someone else with this private relationship right here. Fourteen, fourteen on the phone. And so maybe you thought you guys were having a brand new beginning. You was trying to work it out. Uh-uh. And I'm telling you, all of this was done to like, yep, keeping a promise. And it landed on top of the marriage card. But there's secrets in this marriage. This person was pregnant when they came and told you they were pregnant. But they were pregnant by someone else. See, this person's insecure. They don't know how to make it on their own. Yep, family time. Something could happen when someone went on vacation or something. So, yeah, I feel like you could be getting the, uh, yep, look, getting hotel rooms and shit. Wee! 
bugaboo. I already know in the T. Somebody could be dealing with a Pisces. This is high priestess energy. But listen, I told you. If this person is not pregnant by a family member, they're pregnant by one of your fake ass friends. Because community is like the three of cups. Friends, people that you hang with, people that you invite over to your house, people that you let borrow money and shit like that. Was sleeping with your person. Yeah, you need to check yourself. It's like these motherfuckers did that shit to keep your ass stuck because somebody got a ten of pentacles right here. Or it's coming in and people knew about it. And you got anger right here. Because I feel like this person pregnant again. By the same motherfucker. That's what I feel. I'm telling you now, they caution what this card say. Caught cheating. Listen. Finding evidence. Getting caught cheating. What's behind that? Depression? And what that is? Spirit. Toxic. And what that is? Spirit. Sick. The person. Ooh. That's that bad health card. <sighs> Lord have mercy. I'm telling you. Y'all already had A child with this person that you got some concern about that is not your child right and this person pregnant again but they'll do any damn thing it's like this person like this this is somebody who probably stay pregnant because they need to be taken care of okay depression again yeah brainstorming ideas problem solving figuring shit out Mm, mm, mm. What's this fear? Yeah, somebody didn't want to hear it. Ooh, you may not have wanted to hear that your fake ass friend was doing some shit. Something has been destroyed. A whole family dynamic, a marriage, something been destroyed. And see, somebody was trying to get rid of the evidence. This could be a medical record. This could be DNA results. This could be abortion results, receipts. Somebody was trying to get rid of the evidence of this motherfucker cheating. This could, this could be a credit card receipt of how this person got a hotel room. I'm telling you, you got haters around you. The motherfucker that you in a, in a marriage with is a hater and the person that they slept with, your friend. They hate, listen. You're married to a hater and your friend is a hater. So these motherfuckers come together behind your back, sleep with each other, and they sit up and they talk about you. And then they've been trying to keep you stuck. I told you, money hungry. This person's insecure, so they do whatever the fuck they had to do because you got money. Ten of Pentacles, money hungry. You got some money, okay? Yeah, this person do whatever, and they fight dirty as fuck. They could even be, this person is spoiled. This person is greedy. It's all about them. This person came in with a fake-ass apology, trying to tell you, oh, let's make it work. I'm pregnant. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do that. They was pregnant, but they were pregnant by a motherfucking friend. It's kind of like these motherfuckers tried to set you up. And you could have been letting the friend borrow money. money. You could have even let this friend come and live with you, child. You could have caught these some bitches. Ooh, wee. Riding it out, crushed. This is Six of Cups ass energy. This could have been a childhood sweetheart. Hey, Y'all could have been married for a long ass time. <sighs> Baby, but this is some shit for your ass. See, you were supposed to let that shit go, running away, coming up in the reverse. You were supposed to been let that shit go when you met that empress, but you didn't let it go, child. Look at this. Worst nightmare. Somebody dealing with their worst fucking nightmare. And see, with this recording, it says revealing expression announcement. Somebody got something. Total drama. Somebody's dealing with a, this is an empress in reverse, a needy motherfucker. It says parenting, focusing on the children, coming up in the reverse. This person don't know how to, they don't know how to run a, a household. All this person want to do is party and shit. Okay, envy, I told you, I freaking told you. Listen, a situation's about to explode. You're going to have to defend yourself against the motherfucker that you got kids with, empress in reverse, and people's in your family. This person could be pregnant by somebody in your family. High priestess energy again. Somebody could be dealing with a Pisces. See, spirit wants you to align yourself with the universe because somebody was planning and plotting. Somebody did it with an Aquarius. Somebody was planning and plotting on someone, man. They knew this, they knew this motherfucking child was not yours. 
They knew it wasn't yours. They wanted to keep you off your destined path. Hoo-wee, child. I do. I feel like y'all was already, y'all was broke up or separated. Thank you, Spirit. Y'all was separated. You was spending five for divorce. Spirit allowed you to meet that divine feminine. Because the divine, the Empress came out with the Knight of Cups. So that's like some type of new, y'all was getting to know each other. It was the beginning of a relationship. This person found out about it. This is somebody who really don't care about you. They just want what you got. They came in with these fake ass apologies telling you, look, man. And this person, you see that Michael Myers mad? What that means? Somebody will backstab and betray the fuck out of you. This person only gives a damn about themselves. And let me tell you, it's like revenge cheating here. It's like they was mad because you had them met the Empress. This person, though, they couldn't compare to the Empress because this is somebody who's insecure. They don't know how to go out there and create. So the best way this person could get you was call you back and act like they was ready to rebuild this thing, work it out, tell you that they was pregnant because they didn't want to hear the fact that your ass was leaving, moving on, or whatever the fuck. Maybe y'all would make up and break up a lot. Maybe y'all been married for a long-ass time because spirits say somebody should have been left this situation, but you didn't. So it had to be destroyed. This is towel because you're supposed to have been let this go. And so I feel like you got some concern about who this child belonged to. It's going to be revealed. I, for some of you, I believe this child is kin to you because it could belong to a brother or a cousin. For others of you, it's a friend or oh, fake-ass friend. Okay, period. What's that, spirit? Mirroring, exper experiencing similar energies, guidance. You're being guided toward your mirror soul. This person is a karmic, period. Okay, that wasn't supposed to be in there. Yeah, you're being guided toward someone who's born to shine. Your ass was born to shine. And that's how you got linked up to these dark, obsessive-ass people. Somebody became obsessed with the person that you're supposed to be with, that divine feminine. I did a Scorpio reading the other day. I said, damn, all these motherfuckers obsessed with the, with the Empress. I said, this shit is it's not healthy. These motherfuckers became obsessed. Yes, caution, obsession. But see, your ass had done got confused, child. And you thought you were supposed to be here working this out, privileged lady, wealthy man. Mm. Something is ending, though. And somebody about to have a brand new beginning. Everything in somebody's life is getting ready to change. What's that? Performer, desires, wrong way, cuffing season, therapist. The only reason this person called you back is because they needed help, but they was trying to hurt you as well. Halloween, trickery energy. Yeah, they could have picked up a new line of study. Or with this research in the occult, this person could have just started watching tarot card readings and realized that the person that you had met was your forever person. Yeah, so these motherfuckers thought some shit was fun and what they was doing. For cash? Yeah, I told you they were trying to keep you off your life purpose, child. So now, all of, once all of this shit is revealed, you could be wanting to go towards that empress and apologize. The, <laughs> baby, this person got addictions. They like to party. It's like they want to keep you. You're the, the stable one. This is somebody who's codependent. They don't even know how to take care of their kids the right way. And they begging you to come back and let's do it. But spirit say you went the wrong way when you decided to take this person back. You were supposed to get gone. But that came up in the reverse. So then this person began to start rumors about the energy that you were supposed to be with. See... The information will leave your ass shook. Somebody, and see, whoever this is, is so vindictive. This could be going on for some years. Somebody been playing somebody for some years, okay? But see, somebody about to come to that motherfucking breaking point because the truth that was hidden is about to be revealed. Oh, yeah. How this person sleeping with motherfuckers get in your circle? Get in a circle? Mm-mm. Could be a water sign? Ooh, child, what if? Uh-huh, told you. Motherfuckers start doing spell work over you to keep your ass confused and stuck to them while they sit around. It's like they wanted you stuck to them. Huh? And then they sleeping with your inner circle behind your back. Motherfuckers talking about you. Then they become obsessed with the person that you're supposed to be with. Like, this this is some fucked up shit, bro. But see, your ancestors, spirit guy, somebody came through and they like, nah, enough is enough. So when this information is revealed, ain't no sense in fighting what you're going to fight for. Spirit was trying to tell you something and you didn't want to hear it. Okay? You was determined to keep the promise that you made to this person when you said your vows. And I get it.
put somebody married here. All right. And then this person could have also been like guilt tripping you about the uh y'all could there could have been arguments fuss, fussing and fighting about the empress somebody's guilt tripping you because you cheated and this person was pregnant but the whole time they pregnant with somebody else's child and your ass was being stubborn look at this don't go to jail do not go to jail behind this person please don't okay you are inspirational to someone see i be, i feel like this person began to project over this muse energy Ain't no telling what the fuck. Yep, I knew it. They started lying on this person. Physical altercation. They could have even tried to physically harm this person. Something's coming to a complete end. Period. The lies. Somebody was trying to keep your ass stuck in the fucking past. Told you. They got tarot card reading and they knew that you are. This stubborn energy is the masculine card, which is the first card that came out. Masculine. Somebody knew that you were a divine masculine. They knew that was your fucking karmic. So they playing this shit right here, man. Oh my God. Toxic. Told you somebody was fucking codependent. And see with this angel numbers right here. Look at that. Look at that shit, bro. <sighs> somebody sleeping with somebody in your fucking, either your family or your, it's your inner circle. And I feel like spirit been giving you downloads about it. But you was like ignoring that shit. But something about this child got your ass in concern. And it's all coming out. It's all coming out. This person also had, between the first baby that they had and this pregnancy now, they've had abortions. They've been keeping you bound with spell work, causing confusion over you. To keep you away from your destiny, your life path. See, you finna leave it all behind as you're getting signs and symbols to do so. The Six of Swords came out here twice. All of this is happening for your highest good. Don't be no fool to sit up here and fight with this person or fight with your friend or your brother, whoever this is has got this person praying. What you gonna fight this person for and go to jail? It ain't worth it. It's time to break free from this shit. That's all. And it is gonna leave you shook. It is, because going back to this energy, like I said, they started a bunch of lies and rumors about the person that you were supposed to be with. Did spell work over you to get you confused? You taking care of somebody who's pregnant by your fucking family or your friend? Like, this is some fucked up shit. But this is what happens when we don't listen to our intuition. Because spirit was trying to get somebody to see something. Okay? Child, fake ass apology. Mm. So now... If you was this person's bread and butter, they could be coming to their breaking point because whoever they're pregnant by, that per okay, somebody could be in and out of jail. The person that they're pregnant by could be in and out of jail. They're not stable. You're the one that's the king of pentacles. You're the one with the ten of pentacles. So, wow. Mm -mm -mm. It's got to come out though, okay? Somebody only wanted you for your fucking money. I'm gonna try to get rid of the evidence of that shit. <laughs> mm, mm, mm. So I don't know who is revealing this shit. Like I said, it could be someone who is sick, someone who's on their deathbed, someone who knows about this shit. Somebody saw these people when they didn't think they were being watched. Somebody saw them. Yeah. Somebody saw these folks. So whoever this is that's sick. That's the person that's going to be telling you this shit. And like I said, it's challenges and communication coming in to you about what you thought was your child. It's not your child. Like I said, I'm really picking up on masculine energy. That's what first. So maybe you are a masculine Sagittarius or some shit. I don't know. But baby, go ahead and free yourself. Cause this is some bullshit. You ain't even supposed to be with these motherfuckers. You got a real divine partnership out there. And you sitting over here wasting time that you held back from. Out of motherfucking confusion. Child, just as with the Eight of Swords, do not. King of Pentacles, don't do it. Don't go to jail about this shit. What you gonna fight for? Don't sit up here and fight this third part. And I get it, because the third party could be a friend. But it's a fake-ass friend. It could be a family member. But they haters. 
low vibrational ass people. People that you thought had your back, loved you, and cared about you. It's motherfuckers that's doing you wrong. Mm, mm, mm. I wouldn't get caught up in this. Let me grab some of these romance angels. Okay, spirit. Wow. I just heard it just like that. I fucked your wife. Oh, my God. So, there could have been, like, this could have happened at a, a, a gathering. People could have had too much to drink. Now, you see how this one person got their hand on this other person's ass? And I said somebody was in concern. So, maybe you thought your best friend and your spouse was getting a little bit too close, too comfortable. Or your, you know, your, your siblings. Cause I heard it just like that. Yeah, I fucked your wife. So somebody could have told you that. They're not a source energy. Gemini Libra Aquarius energy. They could have told you that you're trying to hurt you. And you could have gotten into a fight. And somebody could have went to jail. Listen, man. This shit here crazy. Yeah, free yourself. That's the only reason this shit is coming out. And spirits say you need to learn how to trust. That the motherfucker that you with is codependent. So they're trying to keep your ass stuck with each cheering. But you're going you gonna to get some truth about it. Maybe one of them is yours, but one of them is definitely not. And that's period. I feel like this person used the child to reconcile with you, to keep you from filing from a divorce because this person's codependent. And then the person that you were supposed to be with, they made you kind of like hate that person. This person just kept you missing opportunities, period. But, yeah, I told you, you went back to heal some family issues. Oh, God, child. Anyway, very soon, reconciliation. Clearly decide what it is that you want so that it comes to you now. Something is going to have been worth the fucking wait. You need to free yourself from whatever the fuck this is because just as soon as you do, your love life is going to be ascending to a higher level of commitment. Real give and take. Okay? Release this person, bruh. Or sis, whoever this is I'm talking to. Really, this is some bullshit. Right off the rip, this is some bullshit. Don't be out there fighting, because I do. I see somebody going to be mad as fuck. Could be at a friend. Someone going to be angry. Don't. Uh -uh. It ain't worth it. Just simply get your shit and get the fuck on. Because these secrets that's happening in this community, this family right here, it's coming out. It's coming out. And, you know, you may have put this person on a pedestal. Bro, sis, whoever I'm talking to. But, see, there was something in your ass with some type of concern. Yeah. Okay, let me get y'all a message here. I say it y'all to take what resonates. Yeah, see, this is a blessing in disguise. What appears to be a problem is part of the answer prayer. Once you move out of this energy, ooh, ooh a shower of abundance. Some of y'all might write a book about this shit. It says your life purpose involves writing, reading, editing, or selling spiritually based books. Mm, mm, mm. How motherfuckers had you under spell work and shit. People could write books about that. Trying to keep you away from your twin flame. But anyway, when you do release yourself, this is what's coming in for you. A shower of abundance. Real give and take. It's a blessing in disguise, but you got the council clear and delete first. And then you're going to get this goddess. Because that's who you were supposed to have. That's who you were supposed to have from the jump. Archangel Michael is here. Because whoever you are, you are an earth angel. But you got to get rid of this, this karmic. It's a past life issue. You deal with a karmic every lifetime. And it, this karmic keeps you from your divine feminine, from your goddess. It says this situation has a basis in one of your previous lifetimes. Ask your angels to help you remember, release, learn, and heal from the past experiences. You're supposed to be over here with a goddess, a divine feminine. Not this shit right here. Maybe you 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 are someone who like the people please. You got to hear that shit. Maybe you got some childhood issues or something. Spirit says it's time to let go of behaviors that are blocking you from your heart's desires. Ask Archangel Raphael to help you with your healing. Because whatever you desire, you can have. You just got to have confidence. Be willing to forgive yourself. Be willing to forgive those who hurt you. Because you know, holding on to that resentment is gonna block the flow of love. And so, you could be holding on to some type of resentment. Don't block your heart, chakra. 
there's a goddess that spirit has out there for you okay you have to be assertive with cutting the cords with motherfuckers forgive these motherfuckers again so you can open up your heart chakra somebody here is a powerful ass light worker you was never supposed to be in this low vibrational ass somebody set you up they called you back in made you think that they wanted to work on this marriage just to keep you from your life purpose they got i feel like this person knew yeah i knew it you're some type of empath listen your spouse knew that that empress was your empress before you did okay which is why they came back with that i'm pregnant let's work it out how it is that and the third because they got tarot card readings on you they never stop watching you they never stop watching you because you're this person's uh stability okay and maybe you really did put this person on a pedestal and gave this person anything they wanted and they could have treated you like shit for this person go out there and get pregnant by your own motherfucking friends and then try to keep you stuck so you can take care of them. Come on, man. The fuck? I wish a bitch would. You sitting here kissing on somebody else's baby. Wow. Wow. That's some shit. That's some shit for your ass. But like I said, you got to look at this from a different perspective. Okay? This person was keeping you. Missing opportunities. They knew who that empress was to you. Way before you did. Which is why they went on a war. They, they became obsessed with that person. And they became obsessed with making you pay for what you did. So y'all could have fought about that empress a lot. And, you know, Spirit could have been trying to tell you, hey, man. When people start talking about folks and gunning for people, there's an ulterior motive there. Okay? She, they knew. The spouse knew that they was your divine family. So... They start going in on your ass. Trying to make you feel guilty. They had never stopped sleeping with this person. They could have called you back and told you, oh, well, I let the, the third party go and I'm pregnant and it's yours and I want to work it out. And we already got a little JoJo. You know, maybe we can have a little Sarah. Let's make it work. This person did that shit on purpose and they never stopped sleeping with this energy. They never stopped sleeping with them. They just wanted your ass to miss out on some shit. <laughs> Ain't life a bitch. So yeah, I could be dealing with a Leo with the strength here. Okay, look at this shit. Nine of swords, pages, yeah, with the sun. And the five of cups. Yeah, because possibly. Mm, mm, mm. So we got Scorpio and Leo out here heavy, right? This shit in the past, this person had an option between a fucking karmic. Karmic could be a Scorpio or a Leo or a Sagittarius. I'll take how it resonate. And they had that option and then they Earth Angel. <laughs> Somebody could have been dealing with a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio with the moon. Man. They invested in the wrong shit. Yes, they did. And they could have even betrayed the damn Empress, child. Somebody's decisions is heavy. I can't believe I did this. Can't believe I fell for this. Mm, mm, mm. Well, somebody had you up under spell work. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, it's here to change for your ass to leave this shit the fuck behind. Surrender it. Release your ex. Cherish the opportunity for change and do so. Somebody really could be going to jail for fighting. What you gonna fight about it for? Hmm. Or somebody was paid to do something to somebody, something like that. Mm -mm. Pray about this shit. Pray for that person. That person need help. That person that did that shit, they need help. How you gonna be pregnant with someone else's baby and make someone believe that it's theirs? And they taking care of your ass, waking up in the morning, making your ass grilled cheese sandwiches at three in the morning, going on ice cream runs and peanut butter runs and shit. And you praying about a friend or a family member. That, that, that's a cold-hearted motherfucker right there. And in the process of that, they're trying to make you hate your divine feminine. Oh yeah, that's a cold-hearted motherfucker right there. Okay? As soon as you free yourself, as soon as you can come up out that shit. Accept it for what it is. Okay, so that's what I have for my Sagittarius Coletta. Sag, it, this could be your masculine going through that shit. 
Yeah, because somebody was definitely in a relationship, marriage, something. All right. And so you could be this person's divine feminine. Somebody about to have a fucking tower moment. I know that. With this truth that come out. And it's meant to come out. It's meant to come out to free you. Okay? Till next time. Bye.